I'm Peter Sidwell and I have got a corker of a recipe for you today, but it's a drink, not something to eat. Now, the sun is out, it is lovely weather, it is time to enjoy a really good, cool, crisp drink. I've got a Bellini for you today. Now this is Prosecco with a beautiful peach puree. So the first thing you need to do is take your peaches. Now, take a sharp knife. I'm using my edge keeper knives because whenever you put them back in their cover, it sharpens them. Whenever you take them out, it sharpens them again. So it's the perfect knife for having in a home. Take your peach and your knife and just roll it round the stone and twist the peach. And if it's ripe, it'll just release really easily. Take a teaspoon and just work it underneath the stone. Pop it out and you're done. Once you've removed the stone, just slice up the peaches and pop them into a non-stick frying pan on a medium heat. I'm using my Masterclass cast aluminium pans from Kitchencraft. They are brilliant, nothing sticks. Add the sugar to the peaches, a good squeeze of fresh lime juice, and then finish it with a nice sprig of rosemary from the garden. Peaches and rosemary really work together, but don't put too much in. Just that little bit just helps with the peaches, okay? And we'll fish it out afterwards before we blend it up. So, medium heat, let it cook until the sugar dissolves into the liquid of the peaches. Once the pan's right up to the boil, use your spoon and just sort of check if the peaches are nice and soft. If they are, give it a stir, switch off the heat, and let it cool for about 10 to 20 minutes. Then blend it up to a really lovely smooth peach puree. If the peach puree is too thick, just let it down with a little bit of water, pop it into a container and leave it to cool. Now that my peach puree is cooled, I'm gonna fill my Barcraft cocktail shaker with ice, a sprig of rosemary, and then pour it straight over. Let it get nice and cold before you make this drink, okay? Pour your peach puree into the bottom of the glasses. You want about two, three centimeters worth and then pop open a bottle of Prosecco and then pour it straight over and enjoy it in the garden. Now this is a lovely, fresh, crisp drink to enjoy, but you know what else? You can also turn it into ice lollies. What I've done is I've taken Kitchen Crafts ice lolly molds, I've popped in a few raspberries, then I've topped it up with our lovely Bellini recipe, put the lids on and popped it in the freezer overnight. And then for the really hot days, you can enjoy a Bellini like that too. Now, if you want the recipe, go to kitchencraft.co.uk and you will find it there.